things look a lot different on the basketball floor this season for the Lodgegrass guys. The big three left a lasting mark and have moved on, but the culture they helped build is still the foundation for the Indians. Before for so long there was a drought at Lodgegrass for so long it's like when will this happen, when will this happen. These boys broke through, now the group behind them is thinking it's possible. And I think that's the message now that you know we don't we can't promise wins, but we'll always deliver on effort and attitude. Stewart has a way of getting his kids to focus intently on the present, knowing it's building towards the bigger picture, something that's not so easy when coaching teenagers. He's just always keeping us accountable, keeping us on our toes. He never lets us get comfortable, so, you know, he's, he's a great coach. Uh, repetition, I think it's not just repetition in the drill, it's repetition in the message, and we say it every day, 1-0 all season, 1-0. Every game is go 1-0. And, and keep their expectations just right in front of us, right here. Hard work, execution, hard work, execution. Communication is the lifeblood of our program. So we try to communicate all of that and we try to communicate it early, every day, and a lot. Lodgegrass put on a show in Lockwood at the Class B tip-off tournaments, including a 40-point win over Harlem, which beat the Indians in the state semifinals last season. Though both teams look vastly different, some of the holdovers had this game marked on their calendar. You know, when you wait nine months, you know, you just got to come out for anything. You know, and we wanted, we wanted that. I've been waiting all summer for this, especially to play them. I was waiting all year, and, you know, once, once that game was over, I was just, I had it circled. Lodgegrass boasts lots of youth once again, and that will be on display in Baker on Saturday. In Billings, Alec Boffinger, MTN Sports.